Hello everyone, welcome to Natty's Home Cooking. Today we are making hobo stew and we are now starting out with a pound and a half of ground beef. Um, we're going to ground this up a little bit, let it cook until it's all the way, almost all the way brown. Okay, now that it's cooked a little bit, we're going to go ahead and add about a half of an onion. We're going to chop that onion up into little pieces and then add it into the hamburger. Let that cook a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in some crushed red peppers, about a teaspoon, maybe a half a teaspoon, whichever you prefer. I like heat to my soups, so I'm going to add a little bit of this. And then now I'm going to add in some salt and pepper to taste. Um, now with the salt and pepper, you may need to add in a little extra here and there, but taste as you go. Okay, now I'm going to add in some of the garlic powder. I'm going to do about a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder. And if you like garlic, go ahead and add a little extra in there. It ain't going to hurt. Okay, now I'm going to add in some mixed vegetables, a can of it, and you add the whole thing. Do not drain the juice because the juice is what gives it flavor. So we're going to do two of those and give it a good mix. And then now I'm going to add in a can of mushrooms. I'll end up making, uh, putting in two cans of mushrooms to this. You can add a cream of chicken, but I'm doing a, a can of mushroom, cream of mushroom. And I'll add two of those because it gives it a creamy taste to it. And then mix that up really, really well and let it cook a little bit together. Okay, I'm going to add a can of whole kernel corn. Um, add all the juices to it as well and the reason why I do the corn is because it gives corn has kind of like a sweet taste to it so it gives it a nice good flavor along with whatever whatever else you add to it give that a good mix let it simmer a little bit we're gonna add another can of mixed vegetables Just noticed something there. All right. Okay, now I'm going to add in about a fourth cup of brown sugar. Now, the brown sugar kind of gives it a nice sweet taste to it, also, a nice rich flavor as well. Mix that up. Now, we're going to add in some um, frozen spinach. And you can add fresh spinach if you like, or you can add kale. You can add anything you want. Remember, hobo stew is something that you can add anything you want to it. Mm -hmm. 